hello friends welcome again to my video um, today we are going to install PDT over Eclipse PDT stands for PHP development tools for Eclipse we are going to install PDT as a plugin over to the Eclipse because we have already installed Eclipse in my previous version of uh, videos but let's see how we can install it uh, it's not a big mystery and sorry to say uh, I'm uh, I was quite busy these days because I was uh, busy making some servers for my organization and was quite cumbersome with uh, my boss who could uh, not digest some concepts. Anyways, I, it's a long story about creating servers over Ubuntu operating system and I got learn, uh, I learned a lot of things from all of these things. Anyways, let's start by installing PDT over Eclipse. So for that I am going to open Eclipse, you can see it is opened over here and then uh, it is contacting some of the softwares, checking some updates for anyways, uh, we don't bother about these things, what is going to download it. Uh, I am going to stop for it for a certain amount of time, just a second. Uh, then after I am going install new software. After that, um, just a second, okay, I'm going to hmm, open this thing and then I, I need to install PDT. So what I'm going to do is open Google, my favorite thing. So let's open google.com and then I'm going to search certain concepts over how to install PDT and everything just a second um, going to take a while because my internet is already downloading some of the concepts from here uh, okay till then it's open so I'm going to pause it for a minute and then come back mm, okay friends uh, welcome back what I did is search this thing over the Google PDT for Eclipse Neon and then uh, I opened the first link that, in, uh, that is in Eclipsepedia. After opening this Eclipsepedia, uh, it's already opened over here. My internet is quite slow today, so going to take a while for posing a lot of times. So you can see over here that uh, latest table release and the par marketplace for installing PDT is from here. You can directly install or also update sites are available from here. Uh, you can install Eclipse 4.6 that is Neon and with a version of PDT 4.0.1 from this location it's not a big deal but what, what we are going to install is from this thing fine because I think this is a uh, good link for installation never mind uh, if you are version specific or you want PDT 4.0.1 or 4.0.0 or for Mars if you have installed it uh, you can install 3.7.0 or 3.6.0 but never mind I am going to install with this link I am just going to copy uh, going to uh, repository as you uh, you knew that how we went let me show it to you again uh, help uh, install new softwares and then it is going to show you this thing uh, screen uh, going to click on add and write, I'm going to type it PDT and then I'm going to paste this link over here and then clicking OK um, then after just to Okay friends, I think the link is not working for some reason. Anyways, you can see over here, could not find this uh, latest release from uh, its pure purely website. So let's try and go to once again Google and try with this thing. I think this should work. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this thing. I hope this works this time. Um, add. PDT, PDT2, PD, right, this time I'm going to write PD2 so that I can remember what I've installed. Okay, so let's wait and watch for a certain amount of time. If it gets updated, it's good. Or else, 
let's see what we can do it in the next time and uh, next step okay so till then it gets updated i'm just going to pause it because you know uh, my internet is very slow <laughs> this time too okay so friends after a lot of struggle i could find a correct link for it uh, the actual link which i have done it over here used to work once upon a time but i don't know about today it's not working but anyways we can sort it out in the near future it gets updated every time and every now and then so we are not right now version specific that is neon 0 point, uh, 0 0.01 and pdt 4.0.1 we are going to install it mm, wish me best of luck for this thing so you can see uh, this link actually worked uh, we are going to click all the bo uh, options over here I'm going to click next you can also reach all these things you will see over here a lot of packages are going to be installed from internet so i hope this time my internet supports me uh, it actually also gives me some of the user agreements you can uh, read this user big 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 agreement never mind after that I'm going to click finish you can see over here it's installing software and it's fetching a lot of artifacts from the internet um, I think um, you can see my speed is very slow and it's going to be slower and slower the next time it comes you see so just going to pause it for a moment and then come back after it gets installed uh, consult you for the same okay friends so you can see over here I have done nothing as that what we have seen in the video uh, after everything got downloaded and installed uh, it took a great while to install and download because my internet speed again uh, god bless me with this internet speed uh, you will uh, it shows me this message that you will need to restart eclipse for the changes to take effect would you like to restart it now but before i just click on yes i want to show it to you over here this is a workspace of android eclipse and also one more thing that you can see over here is the icon um, that icon actually represents android right so you can see over here um, and, uh, and there are no other any other icons over here so i'm going to click on yes mm, i think it should uh, uh, restart eclipse after it gets this thing done let's see what's going to be the next uh, step for it okay so going to maximize the screen i'm um, going to put this on and use this welcome screen okay so you can see now the pdt is installed over here but uh, we need to switch the workspace because it's already the workspace is for Eclipse so we need to switch the workspace for other operating systems or not operating system but for other softwares so let's see for PDT workspace PHP workspace right and then I'm going to click OK so new workspace has been going to start with new workspace let's see okay so going to close this android sdk has not been set up with the previous versions to the mac okay so file a new um, it shows me project i'm going to click on project i'm going to click click on php projects let's try with a test project click on next it says me test project uh, where it should be installed let's see where it should be installed create uh, this project in uh, XAMPP folder let's try to do it in that way computer uh, opt lamp and then what opt hdocs okay here it is i'm going to create it over here with a folder name is test and then okay, okay so 
create project at existing location from existing source use php default and then okay so instead of that workspace php workspace which i created earlier um, let me create a workspace in htdocs itself so my workspace is opt lamp and htdocs so it's going to restart it after it gets restarted uh, uh, is a read only metadata okay the read only metadata came with an error that uh, actually htdocs was not having permissions to read uh, to write or execute any of the commands so i just made it uh, writable by ch mode you can see over here i just did it nothing but a small thing i can show it to you uh, just type ch mode 777 to opt lamp and then um, docs find this is the only thing that I did it but with sudo command you can type the password and then let's try it now okay so let's see if it doesn't give me an error okay it shows me Android preferences I don't mind because new word has been created I'm going to disable this thing. And now I'm going to create a new project. And the project is uh, PHP. And then click next. Then I'm going to create a new folder that is test. And click next. Uh, and next. And finish. This kind of project is associated with PHP perspective. Do you want to open this perspective now? I will click yes because we have already installed PHP. You can change uh, the perspective from here also. You can see uh, if you want it's Android by default. It's over there. But if you want PHP you can click on over here. And click OK. It will change the perspective. But if in more case if you want to go for android you can come over here and select android so you can see over here uh, php perspective is now installed let's try with one or more things show in okay just a second going to create a new file php project 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 php file over here okay the enter this I'll select the parent over here it's parent is this thing and I'm going to type file name as index.php um, going to select test and then click P uh, you can also see the advanced option if you want to link the link to a file in the file systems let's see um, and type it uh, echo hello world echo br tag this is near function and then echo hello world uh, echo please subscribe to my channel so this is what we actually um, run and see run last two and run let's see php cli web application okay let's see if it does actually run the thing uh, this is the thing that actually we wanted local host because uh, zamp is already running we can uh, also if you if the uh, zamp is not running you can fire this command lamp and then lamp is the executable file and then I'm going to type start okay sorry it should be sudo access so typing on the password and it says it's already running but if you want uh, if it's not running you can also restart it so it will stop the entire lamp and restart you can see it's now started so exit the screen I'm going to test with this URL. Let's see if it works or not. 
less mm, crossing my fingers. Okay, so it should run. Going to open a new window and let me try it again over here. Local host, it's running or not. Okay, it's running. And then I'm going to type test and enter. You can see it's running. Um, hello world and everything is working fine. I don't know what the problem is with this uh, little wonder. Okay, it's working, right? So once again, let me test it. Uh, I'm going to click it, run as an index. So it's going to open it over here. So you can see it's very easy. Uh, thank you. Thank you all for watching and do subscribe my channel. We are going to have lots of fun with installation portions with uh, softwares over Ubuntu operating system. Thank you all and thank you for watching.